Hi everyone, Dollistic here, and today we are doing a double unboxing slash review of Girls' Night Out Jade. Um, I had an unfortunate accident with Chloe's box. Uh, I kind of dropped it and fell, <laughs> and fell on it, so the box got ruined, and I took her out to make sure, like, she was okay and all of her stuff was okay. So, she's already out of the box, but we'll just do, like, a double, double situation here. Um, and I will start with Chloe since she's already out. So I have a few of her little accessories on. She doesn't come like this. She doesn't come with the glasses on or the butterfly clip or the bracelets. But everything else she comes already attached with. And here she is. She is so pretty. So pretty. Here is her hair. We'll start with this because it is so cool. Like this intricate early aughts hair with all these bands. So cool. And she has already been washed and conditioned because once I took her out, I was concerned that her hair was fried. I was like, let me wash this, make sure it's okay. Turns out she's perfectly fine. Um, I did have to cut off some like long pieces, but she's doing good. I'm gonna take these glasses off so we can look at her beautiful face. Ah, she's gorgeous. And these eyelashes are pretty much perfect. Like, I don't have anything wrong with them. There's a few that are longer, but that doesn't bother me. She comes with multiple shades of blonde hair. Most of it is just this like honey yellow blonde. And then there's some deeper bits that are browner and a few lighter strands to give it highlights. And she comes with these like front wispies that I love. Anyway, here are her little earrings. They are just little teardrops shapes. They are super tiny and I love that because it feels proportional. Here is her necklace. Let me turn her head up. Oh, she has some staining that I didn't notice. Okay. And then here is her beautiful blue dress. I'm not super happy with the fabric because it's just sort of like a cheap knit, which is okay. I mean, I, I get it. It's just for the price point. You expect a little bit better fabric. And here are her little ribbon straps with the little jump ring holding them on. It is a pretty sky blue color with like cerulean cyan colored glitter on top and that is just applied so it does come off her little purse is just a simple little bag with a handle made out of the same material it has the same glitter applied on top and then i have her black like squiggly bracelets on over here just to like help accent and then here are her shoes they are strappy heels that is pretty much the same color as her dress and her bag. And I have this cute little butterfly clip in her hair because I thought it was adorable. I wish we got two of these because I want one on both sides, but yeah, no, we don't come with that. So that's clearly, oh, and also she has the normal Bratz articulation. So elbows, hips, and then I haven't used the knee joint, but yeah. So that's pretty much all the articulation you can get with them. And she has the glitter embedded in her skin. Ooh. Can you see it? Kind of? I don't know. I'll lay her right here and we'll look at her accessories. So first up we have these blue sunglasses that I had on her. I think they are so fun and they fit her face so well. They go with her outfit. So I'm gonna put them back on her. And they don't mess with her eyelashes. So, you know, great option. The Silver Star Brad's Comb. She has a second pair of blue hoop earrings. Two little compacts that are just, you know, black on the outside. And then on the inside, one is pink blush and one is blue eyeshadow. What I'm going to assume is a little lip gloss and the cover does come off, but it's just this little peg. A little bottle of star perfume. This little stick uh, is trying to kill me because it falls out so simply. I may even have to glue it in because it's like, it keeps rattling around in the container I have it in and I keep losing it. <laughs> a little makeup brush that is blue like her dress. Super simple, super cute. Those black bracelets come in the extra accessory thing, but you know, I have them on her. And then the last like extra accessory are these little silver and blue hair clips that I am trying to put in my hand so you can actually see them well. They're just the simple like slide-in silver clips with blue gems on top. They're just painted. And now I'll put on her second outfit so we can get a good look at it. 
So I did put this second outfit on earlier and I do want to say it's easier to put the top on and then the pants because the top actually slides on and if you put the pants on first you have to like crumple them up and squish it through. All right and here we have it a more casual going out look. There is this camouflage top that is made out of a light blue, orange, and brown flared jeans that have blue dots down the side and black strappy heels. Oh, that foot is not on. <laughs> Call myself out. Anyway, black strappy heels with a silver buckle. I think this look is super cute. I just don't think it's cuter than that one, so she'll be going back in that one. But yeah, here is Girls Night Out Chloe. I am absolutely obsessed with her. I love her. Oh, this green brush. I am obsessed with her hair. I'm obsessed with her, like, the blue look that she has going on, the baby blue colors. I think it works so well for her. And I'm pretty impressed with all the little accessories that come with her. I wish that, you know, the stuff like this had handles for her to hold, because obviously she can't hold any of this stuff without it being rubber banded to her, and then it's going to look kind of awkward. And, you know, Neither of her hands are in a, like, grabbing position. They're just in the straight position. Doesn't, doesn't work well <laughs> for holding things. But I love her. I think she's beautiful. Um, there's a few things about her I would change. I don't, I wish we got a second blue clip because I just think it works better as a whole with everything. This is a little out of place for me, I'm gonna be honest. As are these little bracelets. The only black thing that she really has is these shoes and I just I don't think the black accessories work with what she comes with. Do I think they're bad? Absolutely not. I think they're cute, they're fun, they'll work for restyles of course. I just think for a cohesive whole she's not as good as she could be, you know? And unfortunately these girls don't come with posters for some reason. I'm actually really disappointed about that because I love the Brad's posters but yeah it's unfortunate. Also as you can see, the, this bag has a hole in it from a plastic tie. Like, you can't see it from the front, but, like, if the bag turns around at all, like, it's terrible. We gotta stop doing that. Like, stop putting plastic ties through fabric that's gonna get ruined by it. <laughs> Irresponsible packaging. All right, well, since we're done with Chloe, let's move on to Jade. So with this girl, we'll be getting an actual little unboxing segment. And thankfully, since I ha was forced to unbox Chloe, should be much simpler this time. You pretty much just cut all these little pieces, all these little stickers, and then open it up, and she should come right out. Yep, slides right out. Why would you do that? So as you can see, this dress is plastic tied through her hair into the box. I'm gonna have to go off screen to do that. Oh, I can already tell this hair is gonna need a massive amount of spa time because it is gelled. All right, here she is, fresh out of the box. So starting out, it does look like her face has some dirt on it and maybe some staining. Let's see if I can, I don't know if that's a stain or if it's just like dirt, but she is really dirty. Like really dirty, actually. The more I look at her, the worse it gets. Um, <laughs> but like if you, if you don't look at the dirt, her face is beautiful. She has brown eyes and blue eyeshadow. I realize now that I did not go over her eyeshadow or anything. It's fine. These like apple red lips. Gorgeous. Her hair comes in two pigtails with a with some hair being let left out so that it just kind of falls and creates a more full look. And then her pigtails look like they're supposed to be circled by these little braids. Or maybe they're supposed to be like poking out. I'm not 100% sure. Her hair is a little bit crimped. Um, not all of it is for some reason. And it is like gelled in both of the pigtails pretty bad. So we'll need a good wash. But that's fine. Little 
stud earrings that look kind of messy if I'm being honest. Not really clear on what they're meant to be. <laughs> oh, found more. On top of her ear. Jeez. Oh wait, she doesn't need a lot of work actually. Moving down to her necklace, she has a oh, she has a silver and blue necklace that I hate. I think this is so ugly. <laughs> wow, that's mean. Uh, I think it is so ugly. It's way too big for her. Like proportionally, it would be giant, and it looks like it's choking her. <laughs> and then down to her dress, she has a pretty similar dress style to Chloe, but instead of being asymmetrical, it has it has like these dropped parts on both sides. And it's made out of like a meshy fabric with a blue, a deeper blue right here that kind of looks like it's meant to be a corset piece, but it's not where it should be, maybe due to sewing error, I'm not sure. And it does not continue onto the back. I think this would have been a super easy piece to do separately because it's just a little like thin piece of fabric that could have just continued and that way you could put it right where it's supposed to be, but that's okay. I mean, it well, is it? I don't know. And then moving down to her feet, she just has much shorter heels than Chloe did, actually. Still pretty cute, and they match the dress. And she just has a simple bag over here. Again, a plastic tie through a bag. Hate it because this fabric will never recover. <laughs> and it has glitter applied to it with glue, so it will come off. Oh, and she has the glitter in her skin, just like the rest of the girls I know girls do. I'm gonna lay her right here. Oh, goodness. I'm just seeing some hair on my bed. I'm curious if I cut that when I was doing the... Oh. Well, that that wasn't cut. That's just coming out of her head. <laughs> and it just keeps coming. Okay. Well, giving her a wash is going to be interesting. If this much hair is coming out now. Where was I? Uh, I'm going to clean up this hair. I'm going to get her extra stuff out. And we will look at that. Since I already have it out, she comes with the same silver comb that Chloe did. The Bratz Star. This box really says Funkalicious formal wear. That is so funny. Like, I know these are, <laughs> these are from the early aughts, so like, people were talking differently, but I cannot think of anyone that would be saying Funkalicious formal wear. <laughs> but I was also like, I don't know when these originally came out, but I was also like a small child when they came out, so maybe they were, I doubt it, but maybe. Um, I'm just noticing her body is a much warmer tone than her face. Like, her body has like a reddish tone to it and her face is more just a neutral. Huh. Interesting. She also has some sort of like paint rub here on the back of her neck. Okay, and here she is in her second outfit. So we have a tank top that is just a white knit with a silver butterfly put on in, I think it's glitter? not sure. And then she has a dark jean vest with a white fur collar and pockets on both of the breasts that have silver brads. And then a faux zipper that's just made out of ribbon that is unfortunately fraying really badly at the top and bottom. So I'm going to try to add like some fray block or something to keep that from getting worse. Because I do... maybe it's... So... no. As you can see it's not sewn across the top and bottom to keep it from fraying. So just be aware. And then moving down to these pants that I think are excellent. They are these black pants just made out of that sort of like cheap doll satin-esque material. They are cargo pants as well as capri they are cargo capri pants. There we go. They have pockets on both of the sides, ribbons on both sides, and they are ruched on the outside of the leg. And we do have like three ribbons here at the top. Well, this is a plastic piece, but like a piece of silver thread this thing and then <laughs> a silver chain of balls I guess to look like layered belts but they just sort of like flop up and they look silly and then moving down she has the exact same black strappy heels that Chloe does for her second outfit which is a little lazy however it works way better for Jade than it does for Chloe's outfit because like black pants really dark jean vest black hair black shoes works really well and then on to her accessories so I'm going to take these glasses out. They have blue arms and a blue lens, and then they are painted black on the outside. And I think they'll look pretty good on her. And to be honest, the rest of this stuff may be staying in here. Because, like, she's probably never going to put on most of this stuff because I don't particularly enjoy it. 
but here it is. She has a big blue clip with white flowers that are painted a pearlescent white. I'm guessing it look like pearls. Black and white ring bracelets. The same barrettes that Chloe came with. These two earrings that look exactly like the first pair that Chloe is wearing. Lip gloss, nail polish, I'm gonna guess blush, and eyeshadow compacts, and then a white brush. A white, probably blush brush, but you know, they're brats, so it could be for anything. <laughs> All right, and there you have it. That's Girls Night Out Jade. So I'm gonna put her to the side. I'll bring Chloe over so we can just sort of wrap things up. So my final thoughts on them, they do retail for what, like $36, I think that's right. And they come with two outfits, two pairs of shoes, multiple extra accessories, brushes, and bags. Do I think it's worth $35, $36? Questionable. I do like that we're getting rooted eyelashes and that we get the like the glitter skin that the girls side out get. However, this is still a doll that has this is a doll that doesn't have standard articulation. And I'm a person that hates click knees because I think they like they barely do anything and they break after a while. So like it's and you can't fix them. They're just broken forever. There are some accessory misfires, I think. Like why are her earrings painted black for no reason when everything else about her outfit is blue? Why are these shoes black? Why do they have the exact same second pair of shoes? You know, just question why is this necklace so goddamn ugly? <laughs> just little things here and there that I think could have absolutely been improved upon to make this a better product. And of course, they should come with stands. I know brats can stand on their own for the most part, but like they should still come with stands. I'm one of those people that thinks every doll ever should come with a stand. So, you know, that's gonna, <laughs> that's gonna be a criticism for every doll that I open that doesn't come with one. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with them and super happy to have more brats in my collection because I've kind of fallen in love with them over the past like year and a half. But my focus has been on, of course, Rainbow High and Shadow High, as well as like the OMGs and the tweens. So the brats kind of get put by the wayside until they go on clearance. Except for these two, all of the other brats I have that aren't like hand-me-downs from my siblings were on clearance so you know <laughs> all right guys well thank you so much for watching uh let me know in the comments below what you think about them which one of these is your favorite like who do you like more i really thought i would like jade more because i like both of her outfits and maybe once i get her washed and cleaned up i'll like her a little bit more but right now i think chloe is leaning towards my favorite i like the color blue that she has the hairstyle is more intricate so i like that i like her accessories a little bit more I just, like, I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Oh, uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. All right. Bye.